Welcome to BSID. BSID is a tool to recommend compliant business processes despite change. All explanations made in this video and much more details are also available in our tutorial document. In BSID, we can consider three types of documents. We can consider business processes. We can also consider IT infrastructure models and we can consider compliance requirements. Here we see already a modeled project which links these types of elements together so we can link um, our IT components to our business process and we can also link our compliance requirements to our business processes um, and so on and after linking these elements together we can start analyzing the interactions between um, change and compliance when doing this we can define every element, so a compliance requirement, a business process activity, or an IT component as the changed element. And we can go to our process model view and select every element. So for example, we select this ERP module to be removed. And when doing so, we see the effects on compliance, for example, our internal policy payment is violated due to the fact that the compliance process check invoice um, cannot be executed because we removed our ERP MM module. This also leads to the fact that our compliance requirement logical access control became obsolete. Starting at this point, we can also get recommendations for compliance business process models from BSID. So here again, we see our violated business process model and we can also get recommendations for the compliant business processes, for example, through the integration of another compliance process. So this is a new compliance process. It's called manually check invoice. I can get another recommendation from BSID builds these recommendations based on previously modeled alternative compliance processes. The other recommendation is based on the compliance process check payment order. So we can see it has another position in our business process and it requires another IT component to be executed. So we can go one step back and have a look at how alternative compliance processes are defined. So basically we start with our compliance requirement. That's our internal policy payment. And we can match, for example, a compliance process pattern to this requirement. And then we can specify this compliance process pattern by various alternative compliance processes. For example, check invoice and each compliance process is described through different properties, which we can have a look at. So the compliance processes, for example, have different triggers and they also have different requirements to be executed, which are in our case, the IT components. So that was our short introduction into BSID. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.